I was in, enticed from a video that Super put up. Super big, dedicated NRS YouTube content creator, right? That has a pretty decent following. And he noticed something that I noticed pretty fast as well. And I also noticed this back in MK11, much less also um, in Justice 2. Obviously, NRS games have a huge casual audience. The shelf life of like what's enjoyable to watch in the game will last like a little while. Super made the same observation I did, and he, he, he really likes the game like I do. I actually really enjoy this game. To solidify my stance for anybody that's curious, my feelings of MK1, what's going on in the community right now with it, which is pretty wild. I enjoy the game. I actually really do. It's just that I'm still waiting on a character and the characters that I have played and the ones I've eventually settled on is like Havoc. Even though Havoc is cool and I, I'm, I'm enjoying my time with him, the only character of the entire roster that I wanted to go back and play. So I'm definitely in a character crisis. So anyway, long story short, new characters came out. I try him and Quan Chi's really not for me. So I just don't come back because it's like, okay, yeah, I'm just going to kind of wait on hope that Takeda or Ermac is fun. Because again, my stance is that I didn't like MK11 as a game and it had crazy cool characters. Now, uh, I think MK1 is a great game, but it just doesn't have characters I want to play yet. So anyway, Super made the observation that people just kind of dropped off, like really hard. The amount of people like watching MK1 just in general between tournaments or just overall viewership, everyone just sort of lost interest really fast. So there's a couple of things to, to boil that down to. And it's the fact that every previous NRS game it's a pretty big casual draw at the start, and eventually it teeters out. MK1 seemingly lost a huge amount of its casual audience, I'd say, in the first few weeks. How did that happen? MK1 just didn't have the features MK11 had. MK11 was a game that just had characters people liked more, amount of content that was worth playing more. And what happens in that situation? Well, you get folks that are, you know, not super big on fighting games, but they kind of like this one because it has stuff that they like in it. And they're going to watch streams and they're going to check out the game and see how it's doing. For perspective, how much does this game sell? It sells more than Street Fighter VI. It's selling just fine. But will it overall go on to be a better, like a bigger game than MK11 or even MKX? I don't think so. I was saying this before, I think this is the first NRS game that's gonna like falter, that's gonna like stumble a bit. That's kind of happened, right? Where people just don't as much enjoy watching the game and the overall interest in either new DLC characters or general gameplay of the game is sort of like gone down. And that's exactly what Super was saying. He has a big amount of audience that just love NRS games and they just watch his stuff. But the majority of perspective was like, people just lost interest because there was no content. And people didn't like the microtransaction stuff and people didn't like how buggy the game was and people didn't like that the online takes forever to find matches, which is still easily one of the worst parts of the game that I go online and it's hard to actually play this game. I'm seeing it all in my chat right now and people have been saying overnight, that the game's kind of boring to watch. And I was feeling that way with obviously MK11. MK11 is a really dry game to watch. But this game gives you more stuff per character. If you consider this a team game, I think it just got figured out kind of fast. The stuff that's really good in the game kind of boils a game plan down to something relatively simplistic. The game sort of moves at a snail's pace. That never changed too much. I think we just got used to the fact that MK1 from the earlier versions that we played, the general interaction of the game is kind of slow. It doesn't have as much zoning as previous NRS games for sure. But overall movement and attack speed is is really 50% slower than previous games. We all know MKX is a fast game. We don't even say, need to say that. But MK11, it, it speeds the hell up, dude. It's actually really fast when you go back and you look at it now. So it's kind of crazy. Complement all of that shit with like a cameo system that gets figured out pretty quick. A lot of casual fans for NRS games do not like the team stuff. They do not like the fact that you have multiple characters. And this is another thing that's echoed in his, like the comments of his video. People don't like that it's a team game. They don't want to have to like learn this stuff. They just want a 1v1 fighting game and they hope the cameos get removed from the game type stuff. From an overall perspective of like the casual perspective, which is the huge majority of people that will remain interested in MK, it feels like they're just burned out. And the word of mouth for MK1 isn't generally good. It isn't come with like a huge positivity. I feel like the, the best word of mouth for MK is that the game plays fun. And that's where I'm at, where it's like, yeah, I really enjoy the game. I played it, I played it for like, you know, a couple months, man, where we were just roaming the roster and figuring stuff out. Took a break from Street Fighter. But now, like, as I went and played a few more fighting games over the past month and came back to MK after a big hiatus of this, so it's like, okay, let's go see what MK1 is like. Yeah, dude, the, the problems of this game are pretty obvious. Like just playing it is kind of rough. And if people are dedicating their time to playing invasions and shit, that stuff is a slog, man.
Like that stuff, I couldn't even get past 15 minutes. It's brutal. We kind of got a taste tonight of what would change that shit. We ran into a couple of people that were also playing the chameleon cameos. So chameleon cameos versus each other. Dude, the game speeds up kind of fast. Kind of dig it. Where it's like, oh, the, the cameo usage is like twice as much as it normally is. And it isn't just the same thing as like, bam, like Lao hat, fast recovery, Lao hat again. No, 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 like what we're seeing is a lot of different assists happening and it's speeding up the game to a point where it's like, this is kind of cool. But as soon as like you start to lose and you get like the wrong thing because your cameo is like automated and it's swapping between stuff and you tried to do something and you got the other thing and it's like, God damn it, man. There's a lot of frustration there. So it's like, this isn't the answer, but there's something I learned. The more we're using different cameos, the better. And I feel like a solution in my head if we're talking about gameplay stuff and not single player content, which needs a ton of work and the online needs a ton of work, we, we know this. My criticisms are still there from the very first play session. I feel like the game needs to speed up a bit. They did that with movement, but overall attacks are super slow, man. But in my mind, like the thing that always felt like, whoa, why is the game this way? Why, why is it so controlled in this way? Was the lack of ambush assists. And we just need cameos to work, man. We just need like, ambush cameos worth it and functional and more reasons to use the things that aren't crazy meta if you use the things that aren't crazy meta the game is significantly harder you know the nerfing of cameos i i think chameleon is a step in the right direction and she's probably going to be really good but it's a it's a hard mode cameo right so again i really want to see the game open up and get creative by just allowing us to to use other cameos and have them be effective in some way and if that means making more ambush assists i really hope so man i feel like the speed of some of these matches where we're seeing a ton of assists usage with chameleon is the way the game should be this is actually what the way the game should be with every cameo and that's what i kind of hope personally changes down the line even though i still like it i still like this game i just need a character i really you know i'm gonna gel with what stemmed this entire conversation outside of supers video uh and it's weird that this is all happening around the same time like a lot of competitive mk is not like seemingly doing super great right now and a lot of people are just talking down about it and people are blaming sonic fox for the game not being good, so why is the competitive community suffering more than it ever has right now? Um, and I can tell you why. The reason video is not getting as much viewership, people just not showing as much interest in MK1, why is that happening? Because this is the first time an NRS game has truly faltered with, with its casual audience in 10 plus years. So a lot of people just drop the game and just don't have any desire to play more of it, or they're just waiting for content le later down the line. This is sort of echoed in the uh, recent report of Combo Breaker. Combo Breaker is the biggest like Mortal Kombat tournament for the most part. It's a Midwest tournament. It's like where everyone goes, you know, for, for the latest MK. And MK1's a new game. It'll be its first Combo Breaker. It's a big deal. And granted, I'd like to give heads up. A lot of NRS competitive folks usually sign up late, but MK1 in a tournament like Combo Breaker, where it should be up there, number three or something like that, isn't even in top 10. So there, there's a lot of folks that have registered for like all these other games and even potentially games like We Don't Know But Killer Instinct could have more people at Combo Breaker because it's a big KI tournament. And we're just assuming that, okay, so people just haven't registered for the game yet, but it's relatively telling because right at the same time, there's all this like doom and gloom in the competitive scene about this game, just like either not paying out or not worth it to be a competitor or all this goofy shit that everyone's talking about, right? And also at the same time, like people making videos on, does this game feel like it's sort of like done? It all kind of happens around the same time with this like doom and gloom argument that's happening. And yeah, I, I have noticed the same thing, you know? It's a weird state right now where NRS fighting games have been thriving for the past 10 years because other fighting games have either been doing good or bad or have not done well. And NRS has just been uncontested, you know, this entire time. And now suddenly like, Street Fighter's back and it's popping. I think just like the direct comparison of actually having a full feature rich fighting game is finally there. It no longer is only Netherrealm as the ones to do it. And now Tekken is also doing the same thing seemingly where like Tekken is a fully ass feature rich game that's gonna bring in a lot of casual audience. And those casuals are gonna wanna watch tournaments. They're gonna wanna watch YouTube videos. They're gonna wanna see people playing the game. Community just thrives as a result of like a, a good game being a good game, you know? So I think that's what we're seeing now. We're actually seeing the effects of a not super casual filled um, NRS audience anymore. This is the first time one of these games has truly faltered. Injustice 2 definitely dropped off pretty hard. It felt like MKX was popping for like a year straight and then clearly there was a big drop off and MK11 brought a lot of players but just didn't have gameplay that I wanted. And so now we get this comparison of like, here's what's going on. And I think a lot of people are also like me with MK1, we're just waiting on a character because this is another game where it feels like it's a character crisis game for a lot of people. So that's my personal take on it. This is a game that I think is really fun. 
with a lot of problems. Like even in core gameplay stuff, some things that feel really funky in it that even haven't existed in previous NRS games. Am I super excited to jump in and play MK1? No, I'm just kind of waiting on new content to check out and I'm waiting on my character. Again, I've also stopped sort of watching this game competitively because it started to become really samey. I'm hoping for that shakeup. I'm hoping for the game just to get something to like spice up the gameplay. And I think the easiest thing you can do is just open up the cameos, bro. Let people use cameos frequently and efficiently the same way we see like a chameleon versus a chameleon. There's cameo usage all over the place, man. It's sick. It's really cool. I hope that happens.